may not be accurate. Now, just now I said the word legitimate, flooding the zone with your name. Well, let me give you some examples of things that aren't legitimate. See these as seen on TV logos that people put on their websites? Well, some are legit and some are fraudulent. See, you are misleading the public by making it appear like you were featured on those shows or magazines when the trick is you only advertised on them. This is misleading and fraudulent, and if any a-hole suggests you do this, report them to the Federal Trade Commission. Another fraudulent thing, invited to speak at Harvard is fraudulent. Another guy I know is renting rooms near highly recognized institutions, and he's having you pay to be, quote, invited to speak. And I'm sorry, I'm a little bit hoarse today, so I'll be stopping <laughs> clearing my throat a little bit. So anyway, you pay to, quote, be invited to speak, implying that Harvard or some other institution is featuring you. Now, in my not-so-humble opinion, this is straight-up fraud, and when you get caught going along with it, you're complicit in the fraud and your credibility is shot. Another one, fake awards <laughs> are not the way to go. I know one guy who had his neighbor make up a fake award and he awarded it to himself, the, the fraudster, along with awarding it to a bunch of big name people who had nothing to do with the award. They did not accept it and they didn't even know about it. Just big names. And he was using their names to try to piggyback off of and pretty much steal their credibility. And once he put all this together and got his award, he shut it all down so now he could brag that he got this award, right? And then that all these other big name people got the award. Again, in my not so humble opinion, total fraud. I would even call it criminal fraud. Now, I can't wait to go after this guy in my Scam Brigade TV show. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about your name showing up in a positive light in, a, in legitimate places. So when people check you out, they see you are very substantial and worth more than the average person gets in your industry. So let's start with some infrastructure. Uh, I want you to put a press room on your website, not a media room. Don't call it a media room because that term gets confused with home theaters. Make it a press room. And I want you to start collecting media appearances on that page. I actually have separate ones for different things. For instance, for most of my main expertise, I have screwthecommute.com slash recent appearances. For my anti-scam work, I have scambrigade.com slash pressroom, and so forth. Now, if you don't have anything to put on these pages yet, don't worry. Just keep it hidden with no navigation to it until you land a few interviews. Now, these interviews and mentions could be written, audio, like radio or podcasts or video, as in TV or video podcast. Now, the next thing you should create is a suggested topic page and follow that a suggested question document for each topic you can discuss. And if you really want to look like a pro, you know, this is a great tip on actual radio interviews, give them questions and how long it takes to answer each one. That way the host can, let's say they see they have 60 seconds to go before a commercial break. They can pick a question that takes 45 seconds to answer and hit their commercial right on the dot. And they'll think you're a, a massive pro. Now, my latest topic page is screwthecommute.com slash podcast hosts because I'm concentrating on podcast more than radio. Now you can make a page with a more generic name like interview topics and interview questions if you want. All right, now that you have your infrastructure built, you're ready to pitch. Now, I've been doing what is called newsjacking for years. Newsjacking was, a, was coined this term by a guy named David Meerman Scott, who I interviewed on here on episode 402. So that's screwthecommute.com slash 402. And this is the concept of seeing something that is already in the news and contacting media sources and offering yourself as an expert or commentator on that topic that's already in the news. 